hello friends so in my this video i would try to clear the concept of notations and try to give the relationship between the western and the indian classical notation and then i will try to clear the concept of octave so in indian classical notations we use uh, terminology like sa re ga ma pa dha ni and sa and in western notation we use uh, designate notes as c d e f g a b and c there are other many uh, system of notations which are very popular the most popular and universal system of notations is the staff notation so but in my this video i would uh, try to clear the concept of the classical notation and the western notation so as we all know that in one octave there are total 12 notes so seven notes are known as shuddh swars these are sa re ga ma pa dha and ni apart from these seven notes there are five variations out of those five four notes they are the komal swars and one is the tivra so seven shuddh swars four komal and one tivra so this makes it as 12 12 notes in one octave so like we have sa sa and pa they are the fixed swars they do not have any komal or tivra so re komal this symbol stands for komal uh, re komal means the note which falls between sa and re it is half note down re shudre and half note up that sa similarly we have ga komal then ma is tivra ma is tivra means it is just half note above the komal ma so re ga dha and ni they are the komal notes and ma is the tivra note this is the symbol for tivra so tivra is very much uh, similar to or we can say synonym to sharp note and this komal is synonym to the flat note so like we have komal and tivra so you can clearly see between c and d we have c sharp or d flat similarly between d and e we have d sharp which is half note above d that's why it is sharp or e flat so when we talk about the similarity between these two systems so sa is a flexible note you can take any note as sa so in this particular case if we take c as sa then corresponding to that d would be re e would be ga f would be ma and so on so this is just for one octave so normally in all the songs all the songs can be played in three octaves octaves they in uh, indian classical notations they are called saptaks so we have mainly three saptak that is mandar saptak madhya saptak and tar saptak in western notation we call it as lower octave middle octave and higher octave so the continuation is like sa re ga ma pa dha ni and after ni the next sa that will be of one octave higher than the previous sa similarly this uh, pattern continues sa re ga ma pa dha ni and next sa would be one octave higher than the previous octave so it means that two corresponding sa's they would have exactly uh, frequency in exact multiple if this has frequency of x this would have frequency 2x this would have frequency 3x so similarly three octaves they are covered so that's it Uh, about the system of notations so i will be there with my uh, next video very soon thank you